Warning, this lady may shame some of us men with her power game. Consider this too, she only learned to hit her driver properly in late 2018. Once you get beyond her long game, take note of how important the short game is. It's never easy being filmed, especially when accompanied by a YouTube legend. What do you mean, come on, you're on the grid in four. Ah. So angry. That's up at me there. You're right by Matt. I have to show you the line. Yeah. What a shot. Good one. Tia reminds me of my sister who took up golf recently. Actually, a lot of us are like this. We are often perfectionists. As high handicappers and new players, if the shot goes straightish and is good enough to get you into a position to hit a clear next shot, that's good. That's stress free. Perfectionism in golf is very much not stress free. As you notice, the putt is killing Tia. Keep track of how many shots could be cut on these nine holes if she just two putts and gets up and down around the greens. Great shot. Tia was using a ball split in half by two colors, which is good for lining up putts. But only once you're a proficient green reader should you use this technique. Higher handicappers should work more on aligning the putter face and the alignment aid on the putter to a spot in front of the ball on the line they chose. Watch this video by Mike Malaska on putting. It changed my life. When hitting over water, players look beyond the pin. Look to something innocuous like a sign or a tree. Hit toward that and focus on that rather than the water or the pin. Make it your goal to hit that thing you picked out in the distance. Always take enough club to carry the water even if you hit it poorly. What a man! Five, five, five! five stop. Perfect shot. What a, m not a man, what a woman. <laughs> All right. That's your best drive of the day. You'll notice she mainly uses her driver, hybrid, seven utility, and the chipper. This is how most high handicappers can play good golf. A core group of clubs that are the basis of your golf game. Oh, 
yards. Tia has got good touch around the greens, but she has the wrong equipment. The sea wedge is great for her from 70 yards, but what she really needed was the Smart Soul S wedge with 58 degree of loft and a thick sole. It will help her to get the ball on the green easier than the sea wedge in these types of situations. The sea wedge doesn't loft the ball up at all and hurts her when the shot needs some airtime. I bought an S wedge to use in my How to Break 90 video and after she used it at Summit Windmill, the improvements were massive. Oh, Matt, come on. <laughs> I nearly chip it in. <laughs> it went inside. She bought that one off me and it's in her bag. Perfect shot, oh my god. What a player. After talking to both Tia and her husband, it was clear they hadn't been shown the ropes around the greens. Putting is basically about line and pace. You pick the right line for your chosen pace and vice versa. On Bermuda greens, the line and pace is affected by one, slope, and two, the grass grain. Grain is complicated and I will only cover it on the shorter putts. I showed them the secrets on the practice greens after the round. Now is it uphill or downhill? Adjust the strength with which you hit the ball. More power if uphill, less if downhill. Stroke the ball with an acceleration through the ball that matches your selected power level. Deceleration where the putter slows down because you took it back too far will make you miss putts usually very short and to the right. How do you accelerate through the ball though? Your follow through should be double the length of your backswing. See what a lot of people do is they'll stand. I do, I knock it. Yeah. They'll stand it, yeah. They'll stand there like this and they'll have a putt. And it's the same with pitching. You'll yeah. take it back there yeah. and Smack decelerate. Yeah. So you should be going shorter and go forward. So every for every so every, putt you every distance you go back, okay, you go through double. So if you're going through there, back there. Isn't it too much power then? No, no, big there. Because you limit the power of your putt with your backswing. So, oh. so if I go, because huh. what happens is you get stabby, so you go back long, huh. and then your brain goes, uh, too long, then you go, oh. so if you go shorter, I your brain goes, off. accelerate. Yeah. Can we try that? So when yeah. I put, I oh, try I to try accelerate that. further through than going back. Adjust the power of the putt with the backstroke, then follow through at double the distance of the backstroke. This is true for all putts and a top tip. Stay down on the putt. Your eyes don't look anywhere but down until the ball is a few feet away from you. On shorter putts, keep your head down till you hear the rattle of the ball in the bottom of the cup. Yeah, yeah. envision the whole putt. And it will break. I think you're right, yeah. I think wow. It's, I think it's huge. It's huge. It's huge from the, from the right. Like it'll break. Like... It's going to break big time because because also remember, yeah, uphill, yeah. uphill, it'll take less break because you're hitting it firmer. Okay. Downhill is going to take way more break because okay. you're hitting it softer. You know what I mean? It's like we'll logical. Here, you know? Let's see. All depends on your pace. You can try. I'm going to try it. I'm going to see that green patch right there. Okay, go put a T down there. Put a, put a T or something down there. 
Because also part of it is training, training your brain to trust yourself because it's so difficult. I kind of need like a whole week just doing this. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. I want to try that. Where's the ball from? Now it's just about pace, but you gave yourself a chance on the high side. But always with these with these putts. I mean, often you got to go much softer than you think. Yeah, like that. That's a great putt. Mm, nice. Shit, that's way softer than I would okay. ever put it. It's like, that's see now you can also see. Ever put it. You can also see with the grain. Right? You've got to see that. You've got to see the little yellow line going down. Right? Anyone on the video, guys? Yeah. Yeah, like this. For this part, like you just tap them. Yeah. I literally because just tap them. Because that also put this over here because that, in your feeling, yeah. is how, how firm you need to hit it. It's all natural stuff. That's why you put it here, and that's why you put it here. Because to you, this is the That's natural, yeah. For me, that's more natural than that one. Less break? I mean, a little bit uh, softer than that. Okay. Complicated game. Yeah. I want it to break there. There we go. That's a part. Maybe a bit too wide. Okay, so it needs to be closer to Rahat where it yeah. is. See, what you're doing there is that you're actually missing the slope. Yeah. I'm so I'm so surprised at how it how went after me only tapping. Like I I, yeah. I didn't I think I just Exactly I didn't give it anything, but look how far it went. That's a great putt. That's an excellent putt. Turn in. Look at that. Look how oh, that holy. look how it comes in at ninety degrees at the hole. It yeah. doesn't come in the the, the front door, it oh, comes oh. in the front. And even then, the kind of yeah. So low. Nice. Oh! See, it's like 90 degrees into yeah. the hole. And it rolls down. <laughs> but you see now, also, if, if you go, if you go too much, yeah. and you don't give it up, yeah. now you've got it downhill. Yeah. But our two putts down there, the pink and the, oh, right. uh, and the thing, are straight up the hill. Okay, let's see another one. Because I was watching you with your lining up ball, and if you if you're a millimeter out on it's, a long putt, it's it's, it's a foot or two. There we go. So okay, no? So what do you think? Do you think it's too wide, or do you think it's? Yeah, it's I actually think I can come in about. A little bit more. Change it, change it, change it. Yeah, a little bit. Change it. But at least, you know what you're doing nicely, is that you're taking more, more than you need. So you're leaving it higher on the hole. It's, it's so frustrating when you leave it short. Yeah. Hey! I don't know what that was. Okay, okay, okay. It's weird. It feels weird, but that's a fantastic putt. I will take that. I, yeah, I have no idea how to do that, but okay. Okay, so now that you know. Great. Uphill, yeah. uphill, yeah. longer, uphill, yeah. longer. Downhill, it's a, it's a bit, it feels almost stabby. So, so the follow through is... A, it's still too much. It's longer than the back, the back. Yeah, the, 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 fo the follow through That's is always longer. Much. On downhill putts, imagine the same crest of the break, but go a bit wider than you think, because downhill, you hit it softer, so it has more chance to take the break 
and so will brake more. Use a T on the crest of the brake if you find you can't go wide enough. Try get it outside your T to train your brain into thinking, it's okay, trust gravity. That's the putt. Look at that, baby. Yeah. Good. Do it again. Trust yourself. Trust that the... What I find is I have to trust that the universe, the gravitational pull, the grass, will just cooperate with me as long as I trust it. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. In the hole. What a player. Two in a row. One more. Trust yourself. It's fine, it's fine, because now you have a tap-in instead of a six-footer. So tap it in, let's see. Good, perfect. It's a different mindset now, because it's not just like stand, hit, stand, hit. No, no. It's actually like there's a bit of three dimension, four dimensions to it. It's a pretty hard game. Huh? It is. There we go. That's oh, it. yum! That's great. Okay, yeah. but now what that is, it's very frustrating. Yeah, that is frustrating. The lower you go, I do not the like more that. you miss to the left because of the slope. So then you go, oh, oh I, I can't friendly, putt. Yeah. Go high. Right so a bit go more. higher. Go high. Okay. Because you want it to stop before the hole, rather than after the hole. Okay, where do you think you lined up to? Oh my gosh, you're right. <laughs> I want it there. You want to go that wide, okay? Okay. Now come back here, behind the ball, in line with that spot. So you so can't look here. from here. Right. Because now you've established how it's going to break. So go behind the line right. and envision that. Envision the yellow so you have line to see on the it. Okay. 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 Why? Come on! Come on! Look at that entry! It's almost it, it almost 90 degrees to hit that. Oh, good one, Matt. Yeah, that was good. So, what you can do is that, I don't know, because for me, it's, it's when I'm feeling not confident with lining up, yeah. then I'll look at my, I'll look at this, this spot I'm lining up to there, yeah. and I'll just make sure, because sometimes I feel like I'm not lined up, and then I lose total confidence. So, what I do, like what I was telling you, just look at your spot there, and make sure you get the ball started right over your spot. I don't really care the result. I like what you say about not looking at the ball. Because I mm, look at the ball. Yeah. I look at that. That's what I want to see. I think that's that's your problem is that you're focusing on the ball and you're like, yeah. I don't know how to hit yeah, this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're looking there, it's like your body takes over naturally. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, know, I like that. Yeah, okay, no, do a couple more and then let's, let's go have a show. Okay, cool. Now, with yours, let's put four different balls down. Yeah four different balls down. Yep. We're going to do one from here, all about five foot. Yeah? Oops, sorry. Soccer ball. Yeah. All about five foot. Okay? Now, your, where's your burn mark here? Okay, so what does that mean to you? Where's the, where's the grain going? This means that I'm not going to be able to attack it. Why? It's definitely going to go over. Why? Because it's going to run. I'm because the grain is yeah. growing it's going this way. That way. Here, yeah. so, so you don't want to boom these. Okay? Yeah, Be selective these. when you hit them firm. This one, you, you want to let it die. Don't boom into the burn mark. The burn mark here is growing this way. Then I have to let it die. We have, oh. to, let it, we have to let it go to the oh. so, so on these shorter ones... Understand. Okay, but then at the same time, because we're not booming it, yeah. add another two centimeters, another centimeter of break. Okay. Which which way do you think it's coming from? I think it's coming from the left. From the left. Good. Now let's see you do it. No booming on this one. No booming. Yeah. Like that. Okay. Great. Now that's how you put those. Then go to the pink one. Now where's the grain growing there? Burn marks here. So that means the grain's coming this way, right? Into you, like, right? Into Which me, means yeah. what? So I, I can boom it. 
a bit, a bit but more power. Remember when you boom it, Commit. the opposite of when you baby it. Yeah. <laughs> you can take less break. So where you did on that on that left to right and you went here, yeah. on this one, you can go there. Okay. Oh. Not hard, not as hard as you normally do. <laughs> no. Go again, and the, your normal pace, where you're normally hitting it about a foot and a half past. Okay. No. Yeah, so it's just that you're going straight at the hole now. So, but you see how the ball ended up yeah, there? Yeah, that's really different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And if you had Compared taken... when I was up there. Yeah. yeah, if you had taken the same putt here and missed, yeah. that's the pace you were going at. Look how it, it went. It on this. Yeah. See? That's the difference with the grain. Okay, all right. You want to try? Yeah, try from the top. It's, such, it's a very different grain. Okay, okay, I see the grain. Yeah. yeah. So you see the burn mark. Oh, no. So yeah, now, I see it. So okay. now what you want to do... On short putts, take special notice of the grain on Bermuda greens. There is a brown mark on the edge of the cup and it tells you which way the grass is growing. This affects putts dramatically. If it's on the edge closest to you, you are hitting into the grain. If it's on the opposite side of the cup to you, you're putting with the grain. Into the grain, you can take less break and hit the ball firmer. Hitting it firmer means the grass will stop it like Velcro and you will eliminate some break. With the grain, you must take a tiny bit more break and hit it softer. Otherwise, if you boom it and lip out, you will have a nine footer back. See down grain putts as putts you want to baby into the hole. If the burn mark is on the right, the putt will swing hard to the right as it dies. If the burn mark is on the left, the same applies. I feel that I'm knocking the ball rather than falling through. So you're snapping? Yeah, I feel like it's... Okay. Oh, good, but, but yeah, you're right. I know what you're saying. It's like, there's a double... Yeah. So come, Double stand again, yeah. and let's try the putting group. Yeah. Did you see very left hand on yeah. it? Try that. Try that. And, and don't think about the right hand, okay? Eliminate the right hand, and just think about getting that left hand working. Left hand, left hand, left hand. Wow! This one is too, it's too unstable yeah, 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 yeah. because you're allowing the right hand to, yeah. to rotate. Oh, that's so much better. Take the right hand out of play. Yeah. So Here are some results after our session on the green at Rose Garden. Oh. 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 Oh.